Are there tunnels to extraterrestrial bases in California's Mojave Desert? Somewhere deep in the Mojave Desert in the southwestern United States, there's a hidden alien base within a mountain where aliens live, quote unquote. The Mojave Desert, located southwest United States, subject to many mysteries and has been a preferred place for many field tests from the alleged secret government activity and UFO landing to the secret extraterrestrial bases. The desert is associated with many amazing legends and stories. The giant rock. It's believed that the giant rock's location is a spiritual vortex where the Earth's ley lines intersect, thus challenging mystical and psychic energy, challenging mystical and uh, psychic energy. Perhaps there is some validity to this assertion? Question mark. After all, Landers, located between 20 miles north of Joshua Tree National Park, was the epicenter of a severely destructive 7.3 magnitude earthquake that occurred June 28, 1992. The immense boulder of igneous quartz monzonite was formed some 65 to 136 million years ago. In the 1950s, the largest boulder in the Mojave Desert was the pilgrimage for UFO enthusiasts, where a number of UFO conferences were held. Giant Rock has been a Native American spiritual site for thousands of years. Stories and legends of the rock describe the contact with so-called Nordic aliens, which provided the des design plan for some dome structures, integrated which uh, inter integraton, which claimed to be uh, capable of rejuvenation, anti-gravity, and time travel. At that time, the news about UFOs and flying saucers were popular in the media. On August 24, 1953, Van Tassel, a retired aircraft testing mechanic from Ohio said he had visited, he had a visit, sorry, from people who have the technology. I'm sorry to laugh, but I, I, there's a video here embedded in here. I did watch it and it's, I mean, he was, he's claiming various things, but he has no proof. But anyway, um, he had, he said he had a visit from people who had the technology that humans could never imagine. This made him believe that they were from outer space. He received a design for the time machine or for basic research on rejuvenation, anti-gravity, and time travel, he claims, from the so-called otherworldly people. He called them extraterrestrials, that they landed with a UFO. He put an effort to build a white dome structure that sits four stories high. The dome is 13 meters high, 17 meters in diameter, and during the construction, no metal parts and fasteners were used. From the declassified FBI files from the 1950s, it says this, on May 11, 1957, Army Intelligence Corpsman Wayne Sulo Aho attended an annual convention for flying saucer believers held at Giant Rock. According to a newspaper account, one night of the convention, Aho says he was drawn by some strange force out into the surrounding Mojave Desert. The forces were controlling his body, he says. After Aho had walked two miles into the desert, an egg-shaped flying saucer descended and changed into the shape of a crimson sphere. At that point, he experienced a series of telepathic exchanges with intelligent beings that warned him that the Earth, quote, is in grave danger, end quote. He never saw them face to face, but heard their warnings. In another newspaper clipping from the same year, Aho said that the aliens had told him that the Earth is a schoolroom, quote, unquote, for aliens from the entire universe. Aho experienced other telepathic messages warning him of nuclear Armageddon while visiting the Hawaiian island of Maui. He claimed to have been interviewed by the CIA for over two hours, but the interview was never made public. He also claimed to have met with every member of the United States Senate and House of Representatives, asking them to hold public meetings about flying saucers. The setting of Giant Rock was famous for the Giant Rock Airport Cafe. However, before it became a cafe tourist attraction, it was the home of a German immigrant engineer and miner, Frank Kritzer, from the 1930s to 1941. Kritzer, a recluse hermit, operated the airport near his home, quite literally under the rock. 
1941, Kritzer mysteriously died in an explosion under giant rock after being questioned by the FBI and Army intelligence officers. The officers were apparently investigating UFOs in the area of giant rock. Soon after, the Army Air Corps of Engineers decided to create an, an experimental glider, quote unquote, training base nearby. Reports surfaced when a, when a guard from the base spotted mysterious flares in the desert, referring to U UFOs later termed flying saucers. Extraterrestrial base in Mojave Desert. A few months back, a story broke out that somewhere deep in the Mojave Desert is a hidden base inside a mountain where extraterrestrials reside. It was claimed by a self-described retired defense intelligence officer who goes by the name of uh, by the uh, Elias um, Anjali. What a name. Anjali. Now, in August 2021, Angelina Lynn Johnson held a news conference in front of the Lincoln Memorial, Washington, D.C. Anjali said she met the beings on January 21st, 2018, in front of a small gathering of people. She told her story of meeting two strangers who showed her the tunnels to the base. She said it was there when she met two aliens of different races who communicated with her through her consciousness. She went on to say that the aliens were aware of her conducting the press conference, approved it, and that they are peaceful creatures. Schultz says, we have an ongoing communication, and I look forward to all of you developing one. On February 21st, 2000, an extraordinary event occurred. A huge section of the Mojave Desert's giant rock came crashing down, revealing a gleaming white giant grand granite core. This erratic, aptly named giant rock towers around seven stories high, weighing in at 25,000 tons or more and covering 5,800 square feet in the original form. This was originally published on Hiles and Wise on Collective Spark. Well, the uh, thing is that these people can claim whatever they want and they can go around traveling the whole world giving lectures concerning their contacts with extraterrestrials and UFOs and uh, uh, contacts of the third kind, fourth or fifth or a hundredth kind. The thing is that they haven't, they don't bring any evidence with them. I mean, okay, bring an extraterrestrial with you to show us or give us pictures or give us some kind of a, a you know, a, a audio or video feed, something, uh, some kind of a, an artifact, anything that would uh, convince us that these people do exist and they come and visit you and tell you what to do. Uh, obviously, this has not been done. So uh, if, without proof, why should we believe anybody? Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.